Hey folks, Akras here with another what to think about when founding your capital city, this time with Hati. Let's start with a quick overview of the Hati. The Hati have riders, landowners, patrons, and traders. Riders are your military family. You get two training per year for each rider city. Cities are always connected, which means they start with plus two growth and minus one discontent. Note that connected doesn't actually make them part of your trade network, so hamlets don't get extra gold for being built in a rider city, and you can't build a road to another city and have that city be connected. It's just rider cities get the benefit of being connected by themselves. New mountain units start with Saddleborn, which is super strong because uh, it means that they can do extra damage while flanking, and the family seat can build horses, camels, and elephants, so generally you're going to want to um, not found somewhere where you have horses um, for your family seat largely because uh, the Hati unique unit uses horses. Um, Hati have a pretty cool unique unit. It is essentially a chariot, super chariot. We've got the heavy chariot. It, it uh, requires horses, and then it upgrades to the three-man chariot, um, which is like a super chariot. Eight strength chariot, um, route and circle, attack circle. Um, so pretty cool uh, mountain unit. You'll, you'll definitely want to build uh, probably want to still grab chariots with Hati because you start with all the prereqs for spoked wheel, just like Persia. Um, but later on, you'll want to probably not have to go down the cataphract line uh, because your unique unit essentially does the same thing. Although it is worth pointing out the cataphract is a little bit stronger at 10 strength. Um, so in a very late game, you might want to consider it, uh, but you can get to seven laws way faster than you can get to uh, barding. All right. Um, and also the rider seat gets a scout on founding. Landowners are the growth uh, family for the Hati. They get plus two growth per year uh, in the city. Rural specialists also build faster and they get two culture per crop resource. So anytime you see crop resources, you should be thinking landowner. Uh, the family seat conveniently can also buy tiles, which is really, really nice. Um, wherever that family seat is, it can just become a super city that grabs all the delicious resources nearby and it's pretty wonderful. Um, you also get two citizens, which is super convenient for those rural specialists. Patrons are kind of a niche family. Um, you get two civics a year, two uh, culture per specialists. You can hurry projects with money. Uh, Hati don't have any special projects, but you can consider a patron uh, capital because that way if you have the decree law, um, sorry, the constitution law, which lets you build decrees in your capital, or you have a scholar leader, which lets you build increase in your capital. You can actually hurry those projects with money a couple of times, which is super convenient. If you need like orders, a lot of orders next turn, you have a lot of money, or if you want to speed up your research to hilarious amounts by just buying an inquiry every turn until you run out of money. Um, the family seat also gets a minus one discontent level per cultural event, which is pretty nice. Um, and you get a courtier. Uh, court minister, which is pretty nice, especially if you're playing with random leaders, because it could give you someone good to marry if it's of an opposite uh, gender than your leader. Lastly, the Hati have traders as well. Um, trader workers are the best workers in the game because they can build multiple roads per year. They just take an order and they can spam a road out, um, as opposed to other workers that can only build a road one per year, um, which is not as great. Hamlets upgrade faster, which is nice, but nothing to write home about. You get 20 extra money per year per bullion resource. Um, gold, gems, silver, and pearls. Um, caravan, which is nice for a lot of gold in, in the early game, uh, with, with single player in particular, since I think it's somewhere around 1,000 gold or something, um, or 750 gold, something like that. I think it depends on distance. Um, and you get a courtier as well, someone who you potentially could marry um, as well. Generally, I find traders pretty underwhelming, with a caveat that I, I do primarily play multiplayer, um, so I'm not going to be sending caravans uh, in a one-on-one -on -one because my enemy will just kill them. Why would they let me get money? Um, so yeah. So let's um, yeah, let's take a look at this map. Map one. So we've got a interesting city site here. Um, we don't have any horses. We don't have any crop resources. We do have some ore. And we do have some gems and gold, two of them actually. Um, so you could go traders if you wanted to meme, but realistically, what is it going to get you? It's going to get you 40 extra money, 20 from this one and 20 from this one. That's really not that much to write home about. That's two hamlets worth of money. Um, I mean, and you can't, you're locked out of another family, which is, which is the real problem. Um, personally, I would likely go riders here. 
Uh, we've got more, so Riders in my military family. I like having Devil Scout start personally. Um, there's no food resources, which is super, super harsh. Um, so you can maybe consider founding this way uh, and making this a patron's capital instead, um, and potentially buying decrees or increase if you have a scholar leader. I think both of those are pretty viable. I wouldn't go landowners here, uh, largely because there's no crop resources, and I'd want to find a better spot with um, with that. I think um, whether or not you go riders or patrons, I would actually found here to get those goats. Uh, Hati do start with uh, pastures unlocked if you're playing with starting techs. So probably patrons or riders here. Map two. So we do have some horses kind of in striking range. And importantly, we have two crop resources. Crop resources I think are gonna control here. We've got some uh, we'll go landers. We can probably buy this tile for ore. Another ore hiding there, it's probably another city. And if we want to be able to produce our unique unit out of our capital, we can buy these two tiles and, and grab horses. Um, so I think this is based on the information we saw here, very clearly a landowner start. Map three. This is interesting. Um, we don't have any crop resources. We don't have any ore. We don't have any horses. Probably thinking patrons here. Uh, we do have some food resources, the game and the goats, um, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, doesn't look like moving around really lets us grab much of anything. Probably found patrons right where we are. Seems like a pretty nice uh, patrons capital. You could also make a case for riders, uh, but generally I like having or in my rider seat just so I can produce units more quickly. Um, we didn't see this horse before, but we can expand and grab that horse if we want to build a unique unit out of our capital. We didn't see that before founding though. Um, so riders would have been viable based on the information that we saw. I'm just going back, for example. We, we don't know that the horse is there. We could go riders. It's a little awkward going riders with elephants since you can, uh, riders get elephants. The rider seat gets elephants for free. Uh, so I think I still would found patrons here. Map four, we have three crop resources and four food resources overall. Let's go landowners. Um, I think we settle here to grab the three wheat and we go landowners. We can grab the horses um, later by buying a tile. We can grab the sheep later by buying a tile. There's even some marble down here, which would make, make, make a nice city site for our next city. Um, or we can just grab it for our capital. Uh, yeah, seems like a great landowner start. Map five, another very nice start. We have some wheat in range and uh, some cattle. Might move one over here. We also have horses and ore, um, which means, leads me away from rider because we have horses and ore. The crop resources leads me towards landowner as well as a huge concentration of food. Um, I think I would very much go landowners here. One more thing to think about here. Because we see that there's another city site here after we found it, this could be another city site, um, like a patron site, and we could actually make sure that site gets the horses, and then we buy the horses and the ore with this city. Um, so it gets horses and ore, and then we leave the, uh, the horses for the other city site, so we spread the horses around. You generally do not want uh, two horses in one city if you can avoid it, because it's better for each city to have its own horse so that you can build horse-based units. And particularly for the Hati, um, it's unique unit. 